Phantom Reaction Engine. I always assumed that the most significant scientific discovery of my generation would be discovering extraterrestrial life. So when Dr. Lynch instead proved, unequivocally, that there is life after death, I admit that a small part of me was disappointed. Most of my mind, however, practically hummed considering the possibilities. You likely already know the basics about Dr. Lynch's discovery of a previously unknown particle that a human body releases upon death. The Lynch Particle, or LP. Scientists are very creative with names. Observation of LPs confirmed that they are, lacking any more accurate term, the fragments that compose an individual's soul. Once she identified and isolated the particles, Dr. Lynch was able to track their patterns, their interactions with other LPs, and the material world. We could now see ghosts. The practical application of this was fucking significant. While other labs and governments immediately set off down one of two paths, communication or weaponization, my team chose a third road, energy. Lynch particles had mass, and they were in constant motion. That's all we needed. Hydraulic dams, windmills, all operated on the same principle. If we could trap the particles, contain them, then find a way to harvest that energy, my theory was that it would be perpetual. Ghosts don't seem to eat or sleep or tire. They only drift endlessly, like glass bottles on the ocean. Now that we could observe the LPs, it was simple enough to create storage. Through trial and error, we found that the particles could not cross certain materials and certain frequencies. We built batteries and locked the things inside. It wasn't sufficient, they barely moved. We wanted a hurricane, but they were barely whispers. Things changed when we applied stimuli. Direct electricity wasn't effective or efficient. Proximity to the LPs tended to cause shorts anyway. But light worked. When set up outside of the immediate perimeter of the battery, Bright LED illumination had an immediate, antagonistic effect on the creatures. The resulting frenzy generated far more energy than required to power the lights. A net positive. The behavior of the LPs when exposed to light was a minor concern. Clinically, they showed signs consistent with physical discomfort, which is impossible, naturally, as they have no physical selves. Still, some of the lab techs became squeamish and had to be dismissed from the project. We lost more team members once the LPs began to stabilize in captivity. Their appearances clarified. Many of them looked... It's funny how your mind can play tricks on you. You think you see familiar shapes and patterns, even faces, in what is essentially random white noise. I have high hopes for the project, but we are facing setbacks. There appears to be some leak in the battery. LPs aren't getting out, but somehow... New particles are drifting in at an exponentially increasing rate. We don't know where they're coming from, but something is happening to the team. To me, everything is so... gray.